Henderson would find it so much more comfortable working here at La Boulet instead of at the office. I wonder if Cook left any snack. Well, yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, it's me. Sweetheart, you can't possibly be done already. Do I wish. No, I just wanted to call and thank you for reminding me how important this greenhouse project is to me. Oh, please, what kind of wife would I be if I didn't, huh? I don't think this meeting will take very long, so you know what? Why don't you hop in a car and head up to the cabin ahead of me, and then I'll catch up with you when I can. Good idea. I'll see you later. Oh, and sweetheart, good luck. Dorian, could you do me a favor? I know how much you love playing the hostess, but when Henderson gets here, could you cut the small talk to a minimum? Oh, but Henderson... You know, I know, but the sooner that we get done, the sooner I get out of here and I can meet with Vicky. All right, but uh, hmm. unfortunately, uh, Henderson just texted me, and he's running a little bit late. What do you mean? Well, late? Oh, uh, for about three hours or something. I'm afraid you're going to have to change your plans with Vicky. Dorian, is Henderson even coming here? Charlie, of course he is. What would make you think otherwise? I think you made the whole thing up. I think you knew that I wanted to take today off, and you found the one thing, this grant, that would make me come to work today. Charles, I would do no such thing. Oh, no, this coming from a woman who drugged me so that she could pour liquor down my throat. Goodbye, Dorian. Charlie, ch ah! What's in the bag? Uh, towel stuff. Um, I'm taking Gigi on a picnic. Oh, how nice, how nice. Yeah, actually, it's not just a picnic. This is a date. Well, that's even nicer. I'm jealous. Charlie and I were going to go on a picnic, but Charlie disappeared, and curiously enough, so did the picnic basket. You know this guy? Unfortunately. I was positive it was Bull. No, just someone who's full of Bull. Look, he looks pretty bad. Did I kill him? Can you believe this view? That's when you say, I forgot how amazing this place is, and I'm so glad we stopped. We're supposed to be on the way to your mom's. I know, but it's such a beautiful day, and I couldn't resist. If this was all spur of the moment, then why'd you pack this? Just in case? Something wrong with being prepared? No, there's something wrong with stalling. I'm starting to wonder if we're ever going to tell your mom we're engaged. Well, look who got her old job back. Yeah, all I had to do was promise I would never throw a drink on another member again. Uh, oh, miss, can I get some fries to go with that shake? Whether or not I can keep that promise, I'll let you know. Hey! If anybody ever asks why I got this job, you totally answer that question. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, did your mom pay the bank for the back mortgage yet? Uh, she asked till the end of the month, but I'm hoping she doesn't wait that long. The sooner she gets rid of that check, the harder it'll be to track the 50000 well, there's still nothing in the news about missing money. So I think we're in the clear. Hey, Jim, yeah, look, we are swamped today. Why don't we just try to put something on the calendar for tomorrow? Right. Tomorrow we'll do lunch, we'll go out, we'll take care of it tomorrow, OK? How could you talk to the cops about me, Ford? How could you do that? Hey, you feel any better? I won't feel any better until I talk to Star. You think she's going to be able to explain why she ran off with this James guy? I don't know. Or the condom wrapper? Look, I'm not going to jump to any conclusions until I hear the full story. OK, just give me your phone. I'm going to talk to her right now. OK, you can relax. He's alive. Well, who is this guy anyway? His name is David Vickers. He's a con artist. He's caused trouble for my Aunt Dorian, my Aunt Vicky, my mom, my dad. Okay, well, do you know why he's here? 
No, except for that whenever David's around, that always means one thing. Trump. Graduation. Have you been? Better. Now that I don't have to run to Danny a million times a day. It'll get easier. I know. Plus, this place is crawling with girls who are twice as cool as she is. Keep telling yourself that. Maybe you'll believe it. Oh, miss, um, I'm in the mood for something hot. When do you get off of work? First, you've got to stop calling me miss. Second, what is with the lame pickup lines when we're already going out? And third? Third, if you don't stop acting like a jackass, I'll have you thrown out for harassing the staff. <sighs> okay, on that note, I'm gonna go get changed before she starts spilling stuff. <sighs> From the second we found that money, you've known what to do. And even figuring out how to give it to my mom without making her suspicious. I don't know how to thank you, Danny. You don't have to. And I didn't do anything that I didn't want to do. Yeah, Charlie had some sort of last minute meeting about this Civic Center project that he's working on with Dorian. Anyway, he did call me and he said that I could meet him up at the cabin later. Oh. Well, then you'll have your picnic after all. Yeah, but I'm going to have to go and buy more food. Because I cannot, for the life of me, imagine where the basket went. David, hey. Whoa, whoa, hey, what are you wait, doing? Wait. If you wake him up, he's got nothing but questions we don't want to answer. But I can't just leave him here. He's fine, okay? He's going to wake up on his own. And if Bull comes, this guy can't say that we were here if he never saw us. Oh, fine, okay. I guess anyone with a head as thick as David's would be able to survive this. All right, now let's pick up that car of yours and cash it in. I just really hope that I could get 50000 for it. If not, I don't know how we're going to get Bull off your tail. Don't worry, we're going to make it happen, okay? I know you want to get back to Cole and your daughter. So come on, let's do this. I'm done waiting for Star to call. My phone's out of juice, so... No. What? What's the problem? You let me use your phone before? Yeah, I know, but... I mean, even if you could get in touch with Star in this dead zone... She's gonna freak out if my name shows up on her caller ID. Your name's not gonna show up unless it's programmed in it. You don't even know if she has her phone. There's only one, one way to find out. No, you're still calling out of state. So? So? Cole, you're out on bail. You aren't supposed to cross state lines. I mean, they can track everything these days. If anybody knows that you're in Delaware, you'll be right back in a jail cell. Damn, I can't even use a payphone. Hey, look, I should just head back to Lanview. What? No! Are you crazy? You can't do that. Hey, Vicky. Jeez. What the hell? Hey, Vickers. What happened? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, oh, well, what? open your eyes. Wake up. Uh, Come on, wake up. Charlie. What the hell did you do to me? 